about to show you guys how people just like you are making thousands of dollars per month by literally just mass creating AI content that's genuinely easy as f to make as long as you just follow the steps in this video. Now, before we get into it, before you guys think that I'm capping, I got a few examples lined up here as kind of like some proof of concept just so you guys can kind of get an understanding for what I'm talking about. So the first account that we've got here, it doesn't necessarily do exactly what I'm about to show you guys, but what I'm going to show you guys, you can use as a base to make whatever this guy's making. Literally, you can make it in better quality if you want to. So this guy's specific content kind of specializes around like political figures i guess obviously because they always have a lot of attention on them you can see countries as buff presidents i guess he likes to do buff presidents for whatever reason but you get the idea that i'm going for the second account that we have here likes to do the ai stories and he uses a lot of weird ai generated hooks to kind of get the viewers attention you can see these two cats taking a selfie right here it's kind of similar to what i'm going to show you guys but the next one is even more similar so i'll show you guys an actual example because it's very similar to the content i'm going to get you guys to be making so right here you've got ronaldo and you've got like a greek statue i guess and then they fuse together into one so now you've got a ronaldo greek statue he's even doing a creepy smile and everything and that's the majority of what this guy's posts are kind of like let me just go to this one show you guys another example that so you got stitch from lilo and stitch and then you've got some I get, oh, it's meant to be Godzilla. And then he, I guess he eats him, fuses together and spits out a fusion of the two animals. And then the last example I'm going to show you guys is probably the most viral guy that I've seen. You can see right here, this, this his pin post has 82.5 million views. Then we've got 88 million, 58 million. He gets tons of views and all he does is exactly this. So. He, he basically puts together a compilation of two different animals, then fuses them together, and then creates some kind of like hybrid animal, similar to what I just showed you guys. So you got like a shark and a rhino, uh, obviously it's a different language, but you guys get the concept. This is kind of the proof of concept that I'm trying to show you guys to understand what we're going to be doing. Now, in case you guys are actually wondering how these guys get paid, I'll use these guys as an example right here because they all do kind of similar stuff. Obviously, outside of the monetization of the platform that you're posting on, because ideally you guys want to be posting on like TikTok, Instagram, Facebook Reels, YouTube Shorts, basically anything that's a short form platform you want to be posting on because if you don't, it's kind of just wasted real estate that you'd otherwise could be making money from. So outside of the revenue you get from that, obviously they all offer kind of like coaching tutorials. So you can see this guy says tutorial is out. This guy, click on the website. They're all promoting something of some form. Let me scroll back up and show you guys this one. Grab my AI content starter kit. So that's another method of monetization that they use. And then obviously Obviously, another method is the sponsorships and the deals that come from just getting mass views and attention from your post. I guess the biggest example of this would be this guy who literally just says DM for collaborations and he, basically everything that he posts is a collaboration. So who knows how much money that guy's making. Also guys, it's extremely, extremely important that you stick around till the end of the video because at the end, I'm going to explain to you guys a couple different tips that you can use to either help blow up your account and blow up your post or you can kind of use it to prevent your account from breaking because the reason why I'm saying that is as you can see here, this is my Brand Boost AI Instagram page. And you can see I've posted a lot of similar content to what I'm about to show you guys. But all of these videos kind of had like little to no views. This is back when I was a noob, almost like eight weeks ago and I was first trying this stuff. And I was so confused as to why it wasn't working. So I looked deeper into it and then I discovered all of the different tips that I'm going to share with you guys at the end of the video. So make sure you stick around because there's some insane stuff that I know a lot of people aren't even thinking about. So the whole process can kind of be broken down into four different steps. Now, listen, as I said at the start, this is so unbelievably easy to do. So don't get you know too overwhelmed by the fact that it's four different steps and you have to go out and enter four different platforms and then put it all together and stuff like that. It might seem like a bit dragged out, but it's easy as to do as long as you just follow the simple steps. With that being said though, since this is a YouTube video, I'm kind of just going to be touching on the main important concepts. But if you guys want a more in-depth guide as to how to do each step of the process, then you guys can head on over to the free community. I've got it up right here. We're up to 320 members right now, which is pretty sick. But if you join the free community, a lot of people have asked me actually because they're a bit confused when they join the free community how to get the different PDF files that I talk about. If you just join the free community, you'll be able to join the Discord. And then once you join the Discord, you can see PDF guides right here. And this is where I post everything. So by the time that this video comes out, there'll be another PDF guide in this channel that'll basically say, I don't know what the title will be, but it'll be the whole process, everything in detail about how to create everything that I'm showing you guys in this video. And obviously that document will include all of the different prompts that I'm using, all of the different platforms that I recommend 
recommend basically literally everything that I talk about plus more will be included in that one document. So if you are confused, then literally all I recommend doing is just joining the free community. Everything is completely free. Join the Discord, come to the PDF Guides channel, and you can see the entire document there. All right, so let's get started with the actual tutorial. Now, like I said, we can break this process down into four different steps. The first step is very simply going to be coming to an LLM of your choice. For this tutorial, I'm going to be using Grok, but you guys can use whatever you want to use. It's all going to be pretty much the same. Once you're at the LLM, you're going to put in a specific prompt. And with that prompt, I'm going to show you guys in a second, it's going to produce two different prompts that you're then going to take over to an image generation platform. Then with those two prompts, you're going to create those two images, which is going to be your second step. Once you've got those two images, you're going to take it to the third step, which is going to be Kling AI. And that's where the magic truly happens because that's where it turns from images and just concepts into an actual video. So that's step number three. And then finally, step number four, the easiest one of them all is simply just to put it all together inside whatever editing platform that you choose. It could be CapCut, it could be Premiere Pro, it could be TikTok editor, whatever you want to use. Sorry if you guys can hear that rain, by the way, unfortunately, I can't. I wish I could just snap my fingers and take it away. Maybe later down the line, I'll be able to use AI to erase it. But that's pretty much the four different steps. Let's get started. All right, so I am now inside Grok and pause, bruv. Now nah, pause, that is crazy. But I'm, I'm now in Grok, bro. And I'm going to use the pump that I have prepared for you guys. This rain is starting to go crazy, but I'm sure you guys can still hear me fine. So I'm just going to read it out quickly right here. It's, well, let me just enter it through first. But it, long story short, it's basically creating a list of 10 different animal fusions that you can then use to create videos from. And you can change this to whatever you want to do. Maybe you want to do 10 different at presidents or something, whatever you want to do, just change it however you want to change it. But yeah, the entire prompt is going to be in the document that I referenced at the start of the video. So as you can see right here, it says for each animal fusion, you want to create two different different text prompts. The first one is going to be the interaction prompt. And this is basically when the two animals or the two entities are separate. And then the second prompt is going to be the hybrid prompt. So this is the image that's going to be created when the two entities are then joined together. And then what we do with Kling later on is we fill in the gap between the two images. So as you can see right here, I provided an example using a dog and a dolphin. And I'm going to show you guys that exact example later on with basically what we created. So it says right here, the interaction prompt is basically a playful interaction between the dog and the dolphin. And then the hybrid prompt is a fantastical hybrid of a dog and a dolphin seamlessly fused together. So as you can see right here, it's provided 10 different examples that you guys can then use to generate content with. So we've got a peacock and a cheetah, an elephant and a hummingbird, octopus, tiger, a bunch of different stuff. And if you guys wanted to as well, you could easily just change the number from 10 to 100 if you want to, but I'm only doing 10 just so I can kind of get an example to show you guys. But yeah, whatever you want to do, you can alter it to kind of fit your needs. So now that we've used the LLM to produce these image prompts, all we want to do, it's literally a simple is just copying and pasting these two different image prompts into whatever image generation model that you want to use. So I'm not going to show you guys the whole image generation process, but as you guys know, I would recommend using Glyph. It's what I've used for all the generations that I've done. And I literally have a video that I posted maybe two weeks ago about how to do this whole process. The reason why I recommend it is because you can literally use pretty much every good image generation model that you want to use. So I'd probably recommend Flux Pro V1.1 Ultra or Flux Pro 1.1. It's not too much of a difference. But yeah, if you guys want to use Leonardo AI or Mid Journey, it's pretty much the same stuff. All you would do, let me just copy and paste this example. So you come and copy this and then you paste it over here and then cool, you just click generate. But I already have images generated for you guys. So I'm not going to sit here and explain all of this. Now let's move on to step number three, which is actually the big step, cling. Bro, that rain is crazy. All right, so let me just do a quick little recap really quick here. So you've gone to your LLM, you've put this prompt in, and then you've generated a bunch of different examples. Then you've gone and copy and pasted both of these different prompts, and you now have two images that was created using those prompts. Then in step number three, you wanna head on over to Kling. Now, first of all, I wanna get a few things out the way. You are going to have to pay if you want to create the best quality stuff. If you don't care about quality and you don't care about the fact that there's going to be a watermark, then by all means, use the free credits that you have. I'm not even sure how many you get. But as you can see right here in the top right hand corner, I actually put my money where my mouth is with Kling. I highly recommend it. It's extremely simple to use and extremely high quality. So I literally just pay to use it because it's worth it pretty much. So once you're in the Kling interface, you want to go on over down to the left side where it says AI videos simply click on that. And then once you're at this page, it's very, very simple. So now you've got your two images and you've saved them wherever you wanted to save them. I've got them right here. Now it's very simple. All you want to do is you want to get the image that you want to start the video with. So for me, it's going to be the dog and the dolphin separated and you simply drag and drop it right here. Bang, it'll take a second to upload. And then once you've got it uploaded, you'll notice that you can add another keyframe. Now, all this means on the left side where it says start is kind of self-explanatory, but it means this is where the video is going to start, right? And then all you want to do is you want to click on the end frame, 
click right there and then you do the exact same thing so now the frame that i want to end with is when the dolphin and the dog are combined together to form the little majestic dog fin so i'm going to drag and drop do the exact same thing and then it'll fill up in a second once it's finished uploading. Cool, and then it says automatically switch to Kling when adding an extra frame. So I believe that you can only do this with Kling 1.6 if I'm not mistaken, but regardless, you pretty much wanna use Kling 1.6 anyway because it's the highest quality, so I don't see why you wouldn't do it. So now just to recap, we've got the starting frame as the two separated animals, and then the ending frame as the two animals that are joined together. Now, onto the prompt. So the prompt for the video might actually be slightly different to what you might expect. So this is the prompt that I'm going to be using here. And it basically just says a dog and a dolphin fused together to form a single hybrid animal. And the reason why I think it might be different to what you might expect is because you're probably thinking that it should be a long, detailed, extensive prompt explaining the descriptive language of each different animal. And for images, I'd completely agree with you. But for whatever reason, at least in my experience generating videos with Kling, I've noticed that the simpler and the more clear your language is, the easier it is to actually follow whatever it is that you're talking about. So a lot of the time I'll literally just do like a one-liner prompt, something similar or pretty much exactly the same as this, and it'll pretty much do exactly what I want. There are times where sometimes it might be fiddly and you might have to adjust a certain language or add a few extra descriptors, but for the most part, a simple prompt will work fine. And I just wanted to correct myself real quick, guys, because it looks like since the last time that I did this, Kling actually updated it to make it so that you can only use the keyframe to keyframe feature if you have the paid version. But I believe the paid version of Kling is literally like $7. Let me let me just double check to make sure here. Yeah, yeah, literally $7 a month. So if you guys want to make content and you guys want to make money, then trust me, a $7 investment isn't going to hurt you. All right, guys, so the fourth and final step is literally going to be the easiest of them all. All you have to do, go to whatever editing software that you want to use. I'm using CapCut right here. Then all you got to do, this is the video that we created right here. Remember, literally just drag it into your editing software, drag it onto the timeline, and then use whatever music that you want to use behind it. Let me just drag this on. I've already got some music lined up here and if you're struggling to come up with music ideas all you have to do is literally go to the different instagram pages that i showed you guys before or tiktok pages it's all the same stuff and you can see whatever music they're using a lot of the time it'll have that section that says the exact song underneath their username and then you simply just search that in find the music download it and then you just trim it up so let me just you'd, you'd literally just trim it up obviously if you want to make it as ideal as possible you'd have it so that the bass drop lines up with the two animals fusing together which I don't think is the case. Whoa, okay, I know that's loud. But yeah, long story short, you line it up so the bass drop happens just when it'd be somewhere around here. And then you literally just export the video and that's the end of it. Also guys, alternatively, what you could do is you could literally just delete the soundtrack in the editing software and you could literally just upload it directly onto whatever platform you want and then use the music in the built-in music section of the platform. I know TikTok does this, Instagram does it. So you don't necessarily have to do it in the editing software, but it is probably easier to do. So just so you know, all you have to do after that is literally just upload the video. All right guys, so this is the final product that I made right here on the Brand Boost AI Instagram page. And for this example, I actually use the built-in music software within Instagram. So let me just play for you guys real quick. All right, see, and the bass drop kind of lines up with them merging together. Cool. Now, I do want to mention, in case you guys forgot, you're probably wondering how there's only two likes. And here's the thing, guys, okay? All of these videos flopped. And if you're wondering why, this is where we're getting into the tip section that I mentioned at the start of the video. So there's a couple of things that you guys need to make sure that you watch out for when you're creating your accounts, when you're uploading your videos. So let's get into these final tips. So the first thing that you guys want to watch out for is you want to make absolutely certain that you're not using a VPN or that a VPN is not active when you're actually uploading the video. To be honest, it should never be active when you're on your account to begin with. Because here's the thing, every social media, especially TikTok and especially Instagram, really hates VPNs. And I honestly, I say, I say especially those two, but even YouTube does as well. So you never want to risk it. Just don't use a VPN because as soon as the platform notices that you're logging in from multiple different IPs, it's going to flag your account. It's going to say you're in zero view of jail until the rest of eternity. So just make sure you're never uploading or using a VPN when you're active on the account. That's number one. All right, so number two is kind of where we get into the, the mythical fairyland stuff that you guys just kind of got to take my word for, okay? Because there's not a lot of information on the internet. You just got to take my word for it. I don't know what to tell you. So number two is making sure that the email that you use to create the account is actually an aged email and not necessarily an aged email, but a used email, okay? And what I mean by that is that you don't want to create a fresh account. Say you're creating some sort of brand, kind of what I did with Brand Boost AI here. And it's a big mistake that I made is as soon as I created the email, I created the account. As soon as I created the account, I started uploading videos. And so the 
there's two tips in here, kind of two tips in one. The first thing is you want to make sure that you're using an email that's been active for a while. You've sent emails back and forth. You've kind of warmed it up a little bit, okay? And then the second thing, if if it's possible, you want to make sure that you're getting an aged account or using an account that's been around for a while, okay? And if it hasn't been around for a while, then simply all you have to do is just create the account, wait a couple of weeks, wait a month, ideally a few months would be perfect before you start actually uploading any content. And the reason why I say this is because if you create an account straight away and then you start uploading content the second that you created an account, all that's going to happen, and this is the same for every social media, is that those platforms are going to pick up that you're uploading content straight away and they're going to say, yo, Someone ain't right, bruv. This account literally just got created. It's uploading 20 videos every second. This thing's a bot. Let's either ban it, let's suspend it, let's just shadow ban it, let's make sure it gets zero views. And that's pretty much exactly what happened to me, guys. So I broke every rule that I pretty much just told you guys. I created a fresh email, I created a fresh account. And then here's tip number four, okay? Tip number four is that you need to make sure that you warm up the Instagram account. And so I literally f***ed up every single thing with this account, which is why it got like pretty much 1,323 to. So this is obviously abnormal stuff, okay? And you want to make sure that as soon as you create the account, you kind of treating it as if you're a regular user, okay? You don't want to be uploading, even though I know a lot of us, me especially, I can only speak for myself, I don't really use social media to interact with different stuff, but you have to do that in order to imitate the behavior of a real person, okay? So you create your account, or you ideally have an aged account already there, and then once you do, you want to warm it up, you wanna you know, start liking different posts within your niche. If it's AI, then like different AI posts, you wanna follow different AI creators, you wanna comment here and there, as if you're a regular user, okay? Every Everything that you're doing is to avoid being marked down as like a bot or marked down as spam, whatever. And then once you've done that for about a week or two, then you can start uploading content here and there, maybe once a day or so, then you can start twice a day and ramp it up as you go, okay? Because these platforms are so extremely finicky when it comes to bot detection. Obviously, bot, bots are a massive issue in every major social media, so they're extremely strict when it comes to behavior that they could classify as bot activity. So those are the four tips. Make sure you follow those tips. Again, guys, if you wanna make sure that you're doing everything right, you can always join the free community. You can talk to me directly in here and I'll answer any questions that you guys got. So that's the video. Thanks for watching, bye.